live from on top of the hill. It's Wildcats boys across getting ready to take on North Hills here at Rossi Field. Folks, Justin Borland here on the horn with the ends for our St. Vincent College pregame show to start us off today. St. Vincent College located here in Latrobe, Pennsylvania is ready to bring you into their folds and show you why they are the best place for an education and where you can start an incredible career and start the rest of your life. Again, check out St. Vincent College. Take a tour of their lovely campus here at Latro PA at www.stvincent.edu. Again, that's www.stvincent.edu to schedule a tour and look more into St. Vincent College. St. Vincent College, together we rise. Here today, Cats come in 5-1 and one overall, 3-1 and one in the cur conference, currently on a five-game win streak after starting out the season ten with a loss 10-9 to nine to Franklin Regional here at home. And again, the Cats have not looked back. I mean, they have been running buck wild through their section so far this season. Last time on the Cat here on the Wildcats Network, we were at Hemfield where the Cats were able to upset a big name like Hemfield, which is important to know because Hemfield is another 3A team here in lacrosse that the Cats were able to beat. And then uh, la their last game, Cats beat Bethel Park 11-7, so a big conference win there for Greater LA Trobe. Cats to watch today if you are the North Hills Indians. Uh, JT Casher leads the Cats in goals so far this season. He has been a big part of the Cats scoring group, uh, along with players like Nick Stump and also basketball superstar Kyle McNeil making his presence felt not only in the hardwood earlier in the season, in, earlier in the year for our broadcast, but also here on the turf at Rossi Field and just over yonder, the North Hills Indians have just made their way here at Rossi Field. There was a little bit of delay. Uh, some traffic down on three, um, 376 kind of slowed them down, which I don't blame them. The traffic in 376, especially at this time of day, is wild. Um, but we're just glad that the Indians were able to make it here unharmed. Another player that the Indians are going to have to look out for if they want to win today is Mitch Horner, the big man between the posts for the Cats. He has 17 saves over the last two games. Again, 17 saves over the last two games. Five saves against Hemfield and then 12 against Bethel Park. So he has been an integral part of the Cats' uh, winning recipe here so far this season. He, he's going to need to show up big against the North Hill Indians. Speaking of the Indians, they come into this game against the Wildcats, 4-3 and three overall, 2-1 and one in the section. They head to Rossi Field after a big win over Gateway. Uh, before the game against Gateway, the Indians were on a three-game win streak before, before the 13 to the 13-2 thrashing from Shady Side Academy. And again, there is nothing wrong with that. Shady Side Academy is a top-tier lacrosse school here in Western Pennsylvania. So there is nothing wrong with taking a tough loss to Shady Side. But again, with that, the Indians are really going to need to step it up then and come through big if they're going to want to defeat the Wildcats on the road here at Rossi Field. Indians to watch the Wildcats really want to come away with a victory here is Nate Duffy, the senior attacker for the Indians. In the game against Skateway, he hit his 150th career goal. So it just goes to show that year in and year out, this young man has been integral to the Indians winning culture uh, here on this season. And again, as I mentioned, throughout his entire career, I mean, 150 goals is not really something to scoff at. That is something where you have to be perfect year in and year out. And Nate Duffy has proven to be that. So if the Cats are going to want to come away with a victory here this evening, they are really going to need to shut him down. That Cats defense is really going to need to be on top of it this evening. And speaking of the Gray Latro Wildcats, um, Defense. That'll be a nice segue into our Latrobe Auto Group keys to the game. Latrobe Auto Group brought us our keys to the game. We'd love to bring you and your family the keys to your next ride, whether that happens to be an SUV or a minivan, or I know Yin's guys out here in Western Pennsylvania love your pickup trucks. And I don't care what brand 
you uh, prefer, whether it's Chevy or Ford or Dodge, for a lot of guys, what truck you drive and what brand it is really defines your entire personality, and there is nothing wrong with that. But don't worry. Whatever you want to drive, I can assure you they have it over at Latrobe Auto Group. If you are unable to make it to the location just off of Route 30 here in Latrobe, you can check out their inventory online at www.latrobeautogroup.com. Again, that's www.latrobeautogroup.com. Dot com. Thank you, Late Trobe Auto Group, for sponsoring our keys to the game. And a big thank you to all of our sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. They are the reason we are able to bring everyone this free broadcast at the high quality that we always do our best to bring to you. So, again, a big thank you to our sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. The keys to the game for the Wildcats in winning today's game is the defense. So far this season, the Cats have leaned heavily on their defense being able to shut down high-powered offenses, and they've been able to do that so far. I mean, look at the record book. I mean, the Cats have, apart from that one goal loss to Franklin Regional open the season, the Cats have been able to shut down many incredible teams, including another 3A opponent in Hemfield. So tonight, the Cats are going to need to lean on their defense, and especially Mitch Horner in between the posts. He's going to have to have what could be the game of the season uh, for that young man if they're going to want to come away with a victory for the Indians. They are going to need to overcome a strong defense. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Cats defense is great. But if the Indians are able to mount an attack, not just against the defense, but if they can overwhelm Mitch Horner, if they can really start crashing in on that defense, making cuts right in front of the net, I mean, goals are going to start raining in. And the question will be, can Mitch Horner stop all of them? I mean, clearly he can stop a couple shots on the goal, but is he going to be able to make a save if the Indians are shooting? I mean, 25 to 30 shots on goal? I don't know, folks. I really don't know. And if the Indians are going to want to come away with a victory here today, they are going to have to do that today here at Rossi Field. And a side note here in our pregame show, this was brought to my attention during our last broadcast at Hemfield. But something to really take note uh, again, it was brought to my attention, and thank you to the parents of the Greater Latrobe Boys Lacrosse team for letting me know about this. A big shout-out to the coaches here at Latrobe. Head coach uh, Bob Kemmerer, assistant coach John Toth, Eric Stump, Mark McNeil, and I'm sure that there are other parents who are involved who are not mentioned in our official Whitfield uh, rosters, which show us, again, the official head coach and his official assistant staff. And I'm sure that there are a lot more parents that do more for this team but it was brought to my attention that Coach Kemmerer really stepped up. There was not there was a lot of big questions about who's going to be coaching this team this season. Coach Kemmerer stepped up. He and all of his coaching staff have foregone their coaching salary. Now, for those who don't know, yes, all high school coaches are paid a certain amount of money. It's not a lot. You're not going to be able to make a living or a career off of it. But for a lot of these coaches, that's just a nice little bonus that incentivizes them to come and do their best every single day. And these coaches here at Greater Lake Trope have foregone that. They refuse to take a pay and instead encourage the school or encourage the boosters to invest that back into the team. So a big hats, a uh, big tip of the hat to those coaches here at Greater Lake Trope. Not a lot of coaches would do that. And that's not a knock on anybody else, either here at Greater Lake Trope or in the Whipple. But again, it's true. A lot of coaches wouldn't do something like that. And these coaches don't care about the money. To them, it's not about the money. It's allowing these young men out here in the lacrosse uniforms for Gray Latrobe to go out and perform their best and have an incredible season. So it's really, really awesome to hear that and see that here at Gray Latrobe. So again, a big thank you to the coaches here for the Gray Latrobe boys lacrosse team for making that sacrifice and coming out here every single night. Yes, folks, that's right, five days a week. It doesn't matter, rain or shine, there are no cancellations to practice, and there's also no cancellations to the cross games uh, at our game at Hemfield. It was raining pretty hard multiple times, and they played through that rain. It did not matter. So these coaches, again, with no pay, still come out here and give their all to this team every single day. So a big tip of the hat to Coach and all the assistant coaches for really stepping up and showing incredible character here at Latrobe. Folks, again, that's going to do it for our St. Vincent College pregame show. Thank you again, St. Vincent College and Lake Trobe Auto Group for sponsoring our pregame show in their own special ways. We're going to take a quick break and show you some of the other incredible sponsors that we have here on the Wildcats Network. A side note, all the sponsorships that you're about to see here between now and the starting lineup announcements are all made in-house at LHTC Media. If you 
have a business or if you know somebody that has a business that would really benefit for, by being seen by thousands of people every single week, the Latrobe and also the Westmoreland County area, make sure you reach out to LHTCmedia.com uh, or reach out to us at mailbox at LHTCmedia.com and make sure you get your business seen here on the Wildcats Network. So take us up side, show you guys some of those incredible sponsors we have here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're going to have the starting lineup in the national anthem here on the Wildcats Network. Hi, I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelRoyalPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Valley Dairy Restaurants. You never had it so good. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, legendary ice cream. In Latrobe, the Valley Dairy Restaurant on Colony Lane. Go Wildcats! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC Media Crew bringing you tonight's game. Or notice, but parent for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style of basketball. Ray Latrobe starts out the evening with a pin. The Palmer Airport in Latrobe live streamed by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. I think we can agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Latro Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latro Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen. I'm proud to work with an organization that's known across the state that's reputable. Adelphi is a place to have ample opportunities for promotion. There's nothing uh, that Adelphi won't do for you personally and professionally. Come on in. Hello, I'm Maria Graziano Bickerstaff, President of the Greater Lake Trobe Partners in Education Foundation. The foundation ensures the highest level of education innovation supporting GLSD students, faculty, and staff. 
the foundation strives to provide educational opportunities for all students in grades K through 12. We believe students should have what they need to reach their full potential. Give, build, grow, every student, every day. I am the swiftest creature alive. I can make it. I will make it. That's where we come in. A Collision Shop by Jason Mignon is your one-stop shop for all things auto body repair. Our experienced technicians and state-of-the-art facilities have you covered. Body repairs, refinishing, glass replacement, and more. Our friendly office staff is happy to assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair process. Visit the Collision Shop by Jason.com for our complete list of services. I think we could agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Latro Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latro Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen. The 2024 Best of Westmoreland survey is underway. Bardini's Country Smokehouse in Crabtree thanks you for naming us Best for Meats in 23. To vote now, go to bestofwestmoreland.com, then to shopping and place to buy meat, and vote for Bardini's through April 24th. You can vote once a day. Gary Bardini is the only meat specialist in the region, honored as a Hall of Fame winner by the American Association of Meat Processors. Thank you for your vote. We're back here on the Wildcats Network, folks. Thank you for joining us back here again for today's broadcast. We just had our St. Vincent College pregame show, and I think we're about to start, get ready to get started with our starting lineups. And again, we want to thank everyone for joining us here on the Wildcats Network for today's broadcast. Uh, we're getting started a little bit later than usual today. I know that we had mentioned that we were going to get started at 7 o'clock on our post, but there was a little bit of a traffic delay for North Hills as they came in on 376, which is not surprising. I mean, 376, especially during certain times of the day, is uh, a bit of a traffic jam, but we're excited to have the Indians here at Rossi Field, and we're excited to get started with today's matchup between the Gray Latrobe Wildcats and, again, the Indians from North Hills. We just, again, finished up our St. Vincent College pregame show, and I wanted to take a moment to say hello to all of our viewers from North Hills. I had reached out to the athletic director earlier today um, and talked to them about making sure that this broadcast made its way to everyone who wants to view it. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. Our broadcasts are for everyone. So we hope that everybody is excited for today's matchup. Again, if you missed our St. Vincent College pregame show, I'm Tristan Borland here on the mic with everyone for the rest of the evening. I hope you are just as excited as I am to have this broadcast here this afternoon. Um, Wildcats, the last time we had the Wildcats on the Wildcats, now with the boys lacrosse team anyways, it was a thriller at Hemfield. That was a really great game that we got to broadcast, and we're so excited to have this game back, or to have boys lacrosse back on our broadcasts. Because, again, they, they've just been really, really incredible. I mean, after... They started the season with a loss. It was a kind of a question mark how they were going to bounce back. But let me tell you what, folks, they did. They did in spades. Um, so now the Wildcats are very excited to get started, as am I. And again, the captains are out in the center, getting ready for the coin toss and get ready for today's broadcast. 
Well, thank. Uh, just take a quick moment to thank a lot of our sponsors here on the Wildcast Network. There's so many. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but they know who they are. They are the reasons that we are able to bring these broadcasts to you guys every single – well, not every single night, but every single broadcast is brought to everyone for free. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to get to do this incredible job that we love to do here on the Wildcats Network. So, again, a big thank you to all of our sponsors because without them, we would have to do what a lot of other broadcast teams do, which is charge people for the ability to view it. And parents pay enough money to watch these kids play and, meal and pay enough money to have all this equipment and whatnot, especially for lacrosse. And so we are very thankful for all of our sponsors who allow us to bring you these games completely for free. And right there, you see both teams kind of moving over to the sidelines. So I'm going to take a step aside as we start mentioning our starting lineup and the national anthem here on the Wildcats Network.
beautiful as always. And I do believe that that is from our high school marching band that recording was taken from. And it is beautiful as always. Love to hear the national anthem before the start of the game. And I think we're ready for tonight's game to start here again on the Wildcats Network. Tristan Borland, you guys are just joining us here at 7.08. Uh, getting ready to get started with today's or with uh, this evening's broadcast, Gray Latrobe, boys lacrosse taking on North Hills. 2A Cats are looking for another victory to add on their current run. North Hills hoping to get another win themselves. And again, this would be big win for the Cats who are coming into this game already with one uh, 3A victory notched and would love to add another one. Both teams going and getting ready uh, for today. Sportsmanship being shown here by both teams heading out to the center of the field. Handshakes being shown here right there. You see Mitch Horner, the man in between the posts, who I personally think is going to be a big deciding factor in today's matchup. The Cats are going to expect him to make some big plays, um, especially in between the posts, so they want to slow down a 3A powerhouse like North Hills. Taking the face off for the Cats is... Uh, that is Kyle McNeil, basketball star, now getting his term on the turn on the turf for the Cats. Ready for the faceoff, and we are off. That ball making its way out of bounds, and we'll roll out. Now the Allen called right there. We'll stay with Penn Hills, or with North Hills, my apologies. Off to the races, Indians with possession, moving into cat territory. Making the scoop, rushing down, pass. It's now with Colin Fiegel. North Hills with possession, 11.35 taken off the clock so far. That ball still being held in possession. Trying to charge inside, cut being made there by Feigl, who has the ball. Nope, that is Pat Savellis for North Hills. Now on the near side with possession of the ball for North Hills. That is Aaron Nuez. Again for North Hills. Nobody scored yet. Under 11 minutes left to go here in the first quarter. From Rossi Field on top of the hill in La Trobe. North Hills taking their sweet time. This reminds me a lot of that Hemfield opening play. They don't want to get too loose with it, not allow the Cats to have an opportunity for a turnover. Just kind of poking and prodding at that great wall of Greater La Trobe, trying to find an opening somewhere. Not easy, but is doable. Making a move inside, trying to make a cut. And Cats are able to get the stop there. Mitch Horner able to save the ball from going into the net. Now on the far side, rushing down for the Cats. That's Shaton Williams. Last possession for the Cats. Takes the ball behind the net, makes a hand or passes it away. Cats now with possession. Swing behind. Opportunity to take a shot. They won't take it. Trying to find opportunity. It's now with Ben Curry, who leads the cast and assists so far this season. Curry plants, makes a spin move, throws the ball in front, battling in front of the goal. Cats trying to find opening. It's with Massaro. Massaro loses it. P North Hills now with possession on the far side and absolutely rushing down. <laughs> a chop came in on the far side, but Cats will be able to scoop up the ball there. You see it at the top of the screen. Now charging down are the Cats with an opportunity. Break the scoreless streak. Shot comes in. Goal! The shot come in by JT Casher, and he now notches his first goal on the day. Cats able to op take the opportunity on a couple mistakes by North Hills and strike first.
Kyle McNeil to take the face off for the Cats. Possession taken by North Hills. They are roaring down. They want to respond quickly. Trying to find an opening. Plants the foot, looks behind, finds an open player. Shot comes in. It's up high and wide. North Hills to respond. 9-10 left on the clock. Here in the first quarter of play, Cats up by one. Pass comes in off the top. With possession is Redmond. Redmond passes on the near side to Feigl. North Hills trying to score on this possession would be great to punch back quickly. Plant on the defense there is Jaton Williams throwing a couple crosses in, throws a shot on the backside. Pass goes out wide. Back to Brian Redmond. A player who I'm surprised I didn't mention so far in this game is Nate Duffy. I thought they'd be trying to get the ball in his possession in bunches, uh, but they have not so far have the Indians. With possession now, trying to cut inside is Cauldron. Cauldron swings it out to Redmond. Redmond here on the near side of the field gives it to Feigl. His now have called quite a bit. Seems to be kind of the ball handler for the Indians. Trying to make a spin move. Really contested shot up high again, and that ball goes out of bounds. 7.52 left in the first quarter of play. Possibility to respond. Shot comes in. That's a goal. It's not called a goal. That ball got lost. And now Cats have a chance to respond. Top side. Swing it back to Mitch Horner. My apologies. I thought it was a goal, which is why I was so loud. I really thought it was. Cats come charging down the field with his Leo Joseph. Leo Joseph. Swings it out. Now behind the net with Kasher again. Or Kasher, I believe. JT Kasher, again, who leads the Cats in goals so far this season. Swings the ball down low now with Kyle McNeil. McNeil now out front. Could take a shot here. Stutter step, tries to get by the defenseman. He can't do it. Now swings it to the top of the, of the formation. Trying to move inside of the cat. Swings it back to Nick Stump. Stump's pass gets bobbled. Ground ball needs to be controlled. Cat struggling to get a hold of it. And they do. With it is Leo Joseph, whose ball is lost again. Trying to battle for it. Cats recover. Trying to recover the ground ball. They do. And swing it back out wide. With it now is Ben Curry. Curry now at the top. Shot comes in, just gets by the goalie. And Kasher now to respond, JT Kasher, who again has the first goal of the game here with 6.07 left to go. They're going to say that that's going to go to the Cats there on a penalty. Kasher swings it. Now with his Kyle McNeil, again, one of the star basketball players for Coach uh, Wetzel. Cut inside, bobbled there, swings it back to McNeil. Shot comes in. That pass, or that shot came in for McNeil from way downtown, but it was wide of the mark. So Cats now only lead by one still. Casher behind. Casher taking a chop. Kasher with a pass there. Swing now with Massaro. Massaro to Curry who now has possession at the top. Pass comes behind the net. Cats toying with their food. 5.25 left to go in the first quarter of play. That ball is lost. Trying to scoop up the ground ball are the Cats. They do. Coming away with his Massaro. He goes over the head of Kasher. Scoop up there on the near side. It's Beth Key. Beth Key charging in, has an opportunity. He swings it back to Kyle McNeil, who finds the back of the net. Cats now up 2 to nothing there with a goal. Casher and Kyle McNeil coming out big here in the first quarter for the Cats. 
I mentioned that the Cats defense was going to need to come up big, but maybe I was wrong. As the Cats are now up big here again, it's 2 to nothing. 5.05 left to go in the quarter. Cats are able to win the faceoff there. Big there. Coming away with it is John Massaro. Massaro now charging. He swings that back behind. Cats now with an opportunity to extend their lead even further. That ball now swung back. Cats taking their sweet old time for a substitution to come in. It's John Massaro who is now back on the turf. Kyle McNeil with the ball in front. McNeil has a goal so far this game, and so does JT Kasher. That shot goes wide. Kasher behind the net to bring it back in for the Cats. Calling it for, uh, I guess, an Ohio play, which I guess is a play that doesn't exist. Because uh, in the, the many uh, conspiracy theory circles, Ohio does not exist. But I, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. I'm too excited for this game today. Indians are able to take that possession there. Now have it at midfield. Char charging down is North Hills. Got crushed there. Fighting for that ball was Cam Mikulski, who is known to play physical. One of the Ice Cats. Really throwing his weight around there, letting his physical presence be felt. 3.38 left to go in the quarter. Cats up again, 2 to nothing here over another 3A team. But lest you forget that Hempfield was leading 2 to nothing before the Cats start, started their comeback. Shot comes in. It's down low. And they're going to call that one a goal. Aaron Nunez, the, the junior midfielder, comes in big there. Again, the junior midfielder is the one who came up with the big shot. On the faceoff is Massaro for the Cats at midfield. Faceoff. Wrestled for, and Katz trying to recover the ground ball. It's kicked, and a penalty is called. They're going to restart the faceoff. So as you see there, the Indians are now trailing only by one here. They start out this game trailing by two. With 3.16 left to go in the first quarter of play. Face off again. It's one there. That's Rouse who wins it for the Indians. Swaying that ball around. Possession is owned by the Indians on the far side of the field. That ball goes up high. Shot comes in. It's high again. And it goes wide. Indians to respond. Coldran is on the far side with possession for North Hills. Swinging it around. Rouse, again, the man who was on the faceoff now has possession down at the 40-yard line. He just comes into frame. Makes a stutter step, gets by Jaton Williams, but just for a, a millisecond. And North Hills now has an opportunity Charging inside, uh, a shot does come off, but it's a very weak one. I think a stick came in. And Cats are going to be a word possession after the ball went out of bounds. To inbound it for the Cats is Elijah Toth. And now the ball is with Kemmerer, who sends the ball ahead for Greater Latrobe, charging down the field with it. Chop comes in and bobbling it is Mikulski, Kamikulski. 
The Nas possession comes in, looks for a pass. He finds one. It's almost lost by Nick Stump, but Stump recovers. Kyle McNeil will slow it down. Kyle McNeil will swing it out wide. Swing now behind. It's Kasher. Now the next stump, who is behind the goal for the Cats. Has a man to beat. It gets, chip, it gets chippy out there. There is a man showing that he's open for a pass on the far side. Stump would rather beat his man. On the fence is Topnik. Topnik does get beat, but only for a second. Now swinging it. The Kyle McNeil has a shot, but it goes off a defender, and it'll go out of bounds. Possession back with the Cats. It's Nick Stump. Stump now on the swing. Now Kyle McNeil. McNeil gives it again. Kyle McNeil, stutter step, gets by his man. He already has a goal, tries to get a second one. He gets the recovery. Kyle McNeil with two in the first quarter of play. Cats up three to one. Kyle McNeil's first shot was blocked. Again, Kyle McNeil's first shot was blocked, but was there for the recovery, and then shot it back in there. So with a minute, two seconds left to go here in the first quarter of play, face-off again is John Massaro for the Cats. Face-off again. Wrestling for it are the Cats. North Hills will recover it. Now rushing away is Magnararo. Indians trying to mount a quick punch back. Pass shot comes in. Wrestling for it. That ball gets loose. Still fighting for it. And a stop and play there, 36 seconds left to go. And a timeout is taken. It's called by North Hills who want to kind of talk it over, really want to head into the next quarter of play with a goal in their hands. We're going to take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're going to have the continuation of this quarter here on the Wildcats Network. The 2024 Best of Westmoreland survey is underway. Bardini's Country Smokehouse in Crabtree thanks you for naming us Best for Meats in 23. To vote now, go to bestofwestmoreland.com, then to shopping and place to buy meat, and vote for Bardini's through April 24th. You can vote once a day. Gary Bardini is the only meat specialist in the region, honored as a Hall of Fame winner by the American Association of Meat Processors. Thank you for your vote. Hi, I'm Chris Cater, conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Bedick is there. Go Wildcats! I am the swiftest creature alive. I can make it. I will make it. That's where we come in. A Collision Shop by Jason Mignon is your one-stop shop for all things auto body repair. Our experienced technicians and state-of-the-art facilities have you covered. Body repairs, refinishing, glass replacement, and more. Our friendly office staff is happy to assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair process. Visit the Collision Shop by Jason.com for our complete list of services. Welcome back here on the Wildcats Network. Tristan Borland, just a little old me. This evening here on the Wildcats Network. Cats are up 3-1 to one here with 36 seconds left to go. Possession still stays uh, with North Hills. As they have possession right before the timeout, they would love to walk away with a goal here and cut this lead back to a one-goal game. Again, 36 seconds left to go here in the first quarter of play. Cats are up by two with one goal by Kasher to open the game and Kyle McNeil with two goals of his own who kind of open it up here. So McNeil is one away from a hat trick and we're only down 
we only have 36 left to go in the first quarter of play. So it goes to show you that I think this is going to be another high-scoring affair for the Cats. Now the face now, uh, again, North Hills would like to run out the 36 seconds left on the clock and walk away with a goal here. With possession right now is Cauldron. 21 seconds left to go. Cats tightening up here. The possession is behind the net with Pat Sevillas, who tries to make a cut here, looks for a pass, trying to set up a play. Are the Indians? His pass was high. Charging inside, shot comes in! That's a call there for North Hills. Luke Cauldron strikes there. And with three seconds left to go in the first quarter of play, North Hills couldn't have wrote it up any better. So Kyle McNeil heads out back to the center for the faceoff. Now the faceoff again. Kyle McNeil to win it here for the Cats on the faceoff, just like I wrote it. And that will do a shot from McNeil. Comes in from way downtown, but it did have a chance. And so that will do it for this core of play. Cats up 3-2. to two. With that, folks, we're going to take a quick timeout here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're going to have the next quarter of play coming up next on the Wildcats Network. I think we can agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Lake Trail Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latrobe Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Oil Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Oil Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pint of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelOilPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Welcome back here on the Wildcats Network here. Tristan Borland on with you guys for the rest of the evening. Ryan the ship a little solo today, but that's all right. We're very excited to be here at Rossi Field on top of the hill in Latro, Pennsylvania. Right there you see... As we slowly zoom out, it's the Cats. And one of those young men who are out there is the one and only Kyle McNeil, who for Greater Latrobe has two goals for the Cats so far today. As we get ready for the second quarter of play. On the faceoff is Kyle McNeil. And the face-off is off. And with it is North Hills, who are already charging down the field. They only have a one-point deficit. And have an opportunity here to close it down. Swinging it back over is Nathan Duffy, who we mentioned in our St. Vincent College pregame show as one of the Indians who have scored 150 career goals, which 
frankly just shows you that year in and year out, he is running on just a different level than everyone else. And I expected him to have much more of an impact here so far this game. Not a knock on him. I imagine that the cat, you know, the catch, especially their coaching staff, are no slumps. They knew exactly who to prepare for, and I can tell you they watched extensive film on Mr. Duffy. That shot on goal goes wide. It goes right by uh, Mitch Horner, who has only given up two goals so far in this game. And again, as we mentioned in our late trove auto keys to the game, he was going to be key for a Cats victory today. That ball being swung around wide for the Indians. Looking for an opening in the Cats defense. They swing that ball back over. Trying to find an opening, plants the foot, spins around, swings it back over. It's with Duffy again. Duffy looking for an opening. Now it's swung behind the net with Cauldron, who broke the scorelessness for the Indians. Trying to find an opening, cutting inside. Shot by Nunez goes by. Now North Hills again. Plants the foot, cuts inside. Shot could come, but it's wide. Pat Sevillius had an opportunity with a shot on goal, and with under 10 minutes left to go, Unsportsmanlike call there by the Cats. That is the last thing they can afford to do. They gave up multiple goals in the game against Hemfield here on the Wildcats. Now, where they gave up multiple penalty goals, and so giving up a penalty there is the last thing that the Cats can afford to do. But we're looking at it here. And now with a being down a man for the unsportsmanlike conduct call. That is a penalty on Elliot Elijah Toth. Shot could come in, but the ball is lost by North Hills. Shot comes in from way downtown, and it's wide. Possession will stay with North Hills. Luke Cauldron goes back to recover the ball for the Indians. Pass up top. Shot comes in. It's blocked there by Mitch Horner. What a save. And now the Cats are cruising down the field, trying to corral that one for Latrobe. Trying to find an opening. It's with Cam Mikulski now on the far side. Mikulski is shut down. And he loses the ball there. And now here comes North Hills. 9.07 left to go. Trying not to lose possession. That ball gets passed up high. Very good, very good job there. Swung now behind the net. Scooped up by North Hills. Now with possession is Nathan Duffy. His shot comes in, but it's lost. Shove comes in by Greater Lake Trobe. Good job there by Jaton Williams, a long stick midfielder. And Williams nearly lost his stick there. Cats now with possession. Charging down the field with an opportunity here. Good pass. Swung again. Casher shot comes in. It's snagged right out of the air. Now that possession goes low. Shot comes in. Swinging it now. Pass. And it's snagged by Horner. I thought it was a pass, but it was a shot. There was a man in front of the net. Scooped up there on the ground ball is Elijah Toth, who's back in from his penalty. And under eight, minute le eight minutes left to go. Wrestling match there for the ball in cat territory. And that ball scooped up up top. Charging down, taking shots. Pass gets away. And it'll roll out of bounds. 
It's going to go the way of North Hills. Scooping it up there, it's Ralvers. Back to the goalkeeper, who looks to send it deep. He's taking his sweet time, not wanting to stray too far from his goal. Katz scored against Hempfield whenever their goalkeeper strayed too far too far away from his goal. A push is called there on the Cats. North Hills to bring the ball back into play. Possession now with North Hills on the far side, still trailing by one here. 7-10 left to go in the first half of play. Pass could come in. With possession behind the net is Ralph Rouse. Rouse passes it up top. Shot could come in, and they're going to call a no goal. They're going to say it went off the crossbar, and now Jaton Williams with the ball. Jaton takes one, two shots, tiptoeing the line, and it's out of bounds. They're going to say it went off, went out of bounds with Jaton Williams, so now Indians with a huge opportunity here. Takes a shot, stumbling down as Redmond. Katz now with possession of the ball. Trying to find an opening here. Pass comes in. It's wild. And it goes out of bounds. That will get possession back to the Indians. We apologize for the glare on the camera. And whenever the sun is in transition like this, it's hard to keep players lit up in the darker parts of the field, but also not lose anybody in the light. So we, we thank everybody for their patience. It's important to keep up with the jersey numbers on the field. Cut comes in, shot up high, snatched up by Mitch Horner. Cats now with possession. Oh, taking a tumble there is an Indian. He's quick to get up though, we like to see that. Opportunity to shoot, it comes in, a good, a good hip check there. Leo Joseph took a tumble and he lost possession, now Indians. Have a chance to respond, 3.56 left to go in the second quarter. That's a deep shot that comes in. And it's scooped up by the Indians. Tried to cross the field, the shot was way over the man's head. That was Coldren who was looking for his second goal on the evening. But he lost and Jaton Williams will bring it into play. Williams sends it back in. Pass down the sideline to Jaton Williams. Wherever you heard that one before, folks. Jaton Williams looking for someone to pass it to. I mean, what a huge grab there for Kenimer to Coach Kenimer to be able to get Jaton Williams on his team along with Kyle McNeil, who sends it to Casher. Casher looking for his second goal of the game. Shot comes in! That's a goal for the Cats. Now up four to two, they double up the score. And just like that, Casher and McNeil are tied for goals on the afternoon. JT not wanting Kyle to have all the fun. And now on the faceoff, is Thomas Rouse for North Hills and for the Cats, it's John Massaro. Face off, st stolen away by Rouse. He takes that ball down the far side of the field. Sends in a pass. Now with his Coldren, who has a goal already in this matchup. Still looking for a pass. Redman rolls it on the ground for Pat Savillis. Opportunity now, trying to cut across. Check comes in, strangling the man, and that pass goes out of bounds. 
Trying to send the ball behind the net were the Indians, but they could not get the ball past this Cats defense. And now on the far side of the field, swinging it back to Redmond. Redmond trying to find an opening here. Redmond still with him on the far side of the field. He's blanketed by Jaton Williams, who doesn't take the screen. His basketball IQ does not allow him to fall for something like that. Jaton Williams, I mean, it, it's baffling to me to see him out here with his, all the sports that Jaton already participates in. Still wants to keep it shaped during the summer. That's a goal there for the Indians. That's going to go to Coldren again. Coldren with his second on the day. Indians are now back to a one-point game with 3.25 left to go in the second quarter. Now back on the faceoff is Rouse. Kyle McNeil to take the faceoff for the Cats. Battle, that ball gets away, and it gets by. And so Cats with possession here. Now with the ball are the Cats. Sending it behind. JT sends it out wide. Now with it are the Indians who are charging down the far sideline. Trying to find a way to tie it up here. Trying to find an opportunity. It gets by the Cats. Bouncing off of it again is Kyle McNeil. Kyle McNeil sends it to his teammate on the far side of the field. Who shot comes in. Great block there and goal. It was Druga who had a chance to block it. And he makes a big save there as Indians still only trail by one. And that ball gets away. We're going to see who gets possession there. It's the Indians. who still trail by one here. Rolling the ball to the ground. Trying to find an opening. Makes a cut there. It's Redman. Redman charging up with a full head of steam. Passes it to his teammate. Shot comes in. And it's just wide. That's going to go to the Cats. Who recover. Sends it back to Mitch Horner. Sends it to his teammate there who loses the pass. Charging down the field now. High pass there and it's out of bounds. Now it's the Indians to respond. Pass there out wide. Trying to find an opportunity. It's Nathan Duffy who I thought we would see more goals out of, but he has nothing so far. Coldren and Nuez, or Nunez, are the two Indians with their goals. Coldren with two, Nunez with one. He was the one that opened up the scoring this evening for the Indians. Feigl with the ball. Sends it down to Pat Savillas. Back up top. Bounce pass to Feigl. Feigl with 115 to do something here. Loses the ball there. Great defensive work by Jaton Williams. And scooped up there. Brock Floof. The big man in goal. Sends that ball down deep. Well, in goal for the Ice Cats, not for the boys lacrosse team. Pass for Indians. Goes up top and away. But possession will stay with the Cats. Casher now has two and has possession. Could get a hat trick here with a shot. Lined up for it. Thought better of it. Good pass. Shot comes in. Blocked. And the keeper comes away with it there. 
And his pass is now deep. Cats retreating. Pass comes in on the far side. 25 seconds left to go. And that's another goal. We're all tied up here now. And on goal is who else but Nathan Duffy. Yeah, and Duffy, the senior attacker, that is goal 151 for him on his career. There are now three Indians who have scored in this game. Now on the faceoff is Leo Joseph for the Cats. And again, it's Rouse with 23 seconds left to go. For whatever reason, when that clock starts to tick down, Indians have scored. Two out of their four goals are with under 25 seconds left to go in the half or in the quarter. Indians with an opportunity again. Quick break, pass comes away, and it rolls out of bounds. That will go to the Cats. Brock Floof to bring it up. Seven seconds left to go. High pass. Cats there, and that will do it for the first half of play from Rossi Field. We're all tied up here. It's 4-4 for either team. And again, that will do it here for our first half of play. We're gonna take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back after our halftime break, we're gonna have the second half of play from Rossi Field on top of the hill. I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelRoyalPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Valley Dairy Restaurants. You never had it so good. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, legendary ice cream. In Latrobe, the Valley Dairy Restaurant on Colony Lane. Go Wildcats! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC Media Crew bringing you tonight's game. Mark notice preparing for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style of basketball. Ray Latrobe starts out the evening with a pin. From Palmer Airport in Latrobe, live streamed by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. I think we could agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Latro Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latro Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen.
I'm proud to work with an organization that known across the state that's reputable. Adelphi is a place to have ample opportunities for promotion. There's nothing uh, that Adelphi won't do for you personally and professionally. Come on in. Hello, I'm Maria Graziano Bickerstaff, President of the Greater Latrobe Partners in Education Foundation. The foundation ensures the highest level of education innovation supporting GLSD students, faculty, and staff. The foundation strives to provide educational opportunities for all students in grades K through 12. We believe students should have what they need to reach their full potential. Give, build, grow every student, every day. I am the swiftest creature alive. I can make it. I will make it. That's where we come in. A Collision Shop by Jason Mignon is your one-stop shop for all things auto body repair. Our experienced technicians and state-of-the-art facilities have you covered. Body repairs, refinishing, glass replacement, and more. Our friendly office staff is happy to assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair process. Visit the Collision Shop by Jason.com for our complete list of services. Welcome to Ligonier Valley Learning Center Incorporated, where little hands do big things. For 38 years, Latrobe Kinder School has provided a continuum of quality services which promotes the emotional, behavioral, educational, and physical development of children. We've used a research-based curriculum that will help your child grow academically and socially. Guidance from our expert teachers, combined with our state-of-the-art play areas, will build your child's brains and bodies. Latrobe Kinder School provides high-quality pre-K education for three- and four-year-old children at no cost to qualifying families through the pre-K counts. Our enrollment is always open. Visit our website, LigonierValleyLearningCenter.com, to apply today. I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Latrobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Latrobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelLoyalPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Valley Dairy Restaurants. You never had it so good. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, legendary ice cream. In Latrobe, the Valley Dairy Restaurant on Colony Lane. Go Wildcats! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC Media Crew bringing you tonight's game. Or notice, preparing for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style basketball. Great Latrobe starts out the evening with a pin. It's a 
Palmer Airport in Latrobe, live streamed by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. The 2024 Best of Westmoreland survey is underway. Bardini's Country Smokehouse in Crabtree thanks you for naming us Best for Meats in 23. To vote now, go to bestofwestmoreland.com. Then to shopping and place to buy meat and vote for Bardini's through April 24th. You can vote once a day. Gary Bardini is the only meat specialist in the region, honored as a Hall of Fame winner by the American Association of Meat Processors. Thank you for your vote. We're back here on top of the hill after our timeout commercial break here on the Wildcats Network. Folks, Tristan Borland here with Yins for the rest of the evening. Running the, solo, running the show a little solo today, but that's fine. Uh, we're ready to get started back again with a minute 15 left to go in the halftime break. Cats and Indians are tied at four here. Cats are in the driver's seat, scoring their first two goals of the game with JT and Kyle McNeil both scoring. And then McNeil scored again. Uh, that was back in the first quarter. Uh, but then the Indians would respond, and they've responded well. Cats haven't done much, didn't do much scoring in the second quarter. Uh, I know that JT got a goal uh, midway through, but then the Indians would score again to shut out the rest of the first half of play. One of them coming from Ethan Duffy, who scored with under 25 seconds left to go, which I'm actually surprised. So Cats did give up a penalty earlier in the second quarter on sportsmanlike penalty. However, Cats didn't give up a goal on the penalty, which I was very impressed by. Uh, again, against Hemfield, Cats gave up three different penalty goals. Um, but here tonight, they gave up one, and they are not shooken about it. They are not shaken about it. So we are now going to head into the third quarter of play where the Cats are all tied up at four with the Indians. And again, I, I knew that the Indians were not going to go out quietly uh, a 3 a team like them does not go out quietly, especially on the, the momentum that they are coming into Rossi Field with after a win against Gateway. They've got to be feeling themselves, and the Cats are going to have to try to shut them down. The defense has done well, but I, I wish they would do a little bit more, uh, if I'm being honest. I thought I was expecting a little bit more out of the defenders for the Cats, so we'll have to see um, if... If the Indians can respond, Kyle McNeil coming down for the faceoff. Faceoff taken. We're on our way here. Wrestling for the ground ball in the middle of the field. Cats recover, charge. Kyle McNeil with possession. He makes his way on the far side, sends a pass deep. It's snagged out of the air there. Uh, that's Ben Curry, who could take a shot, but he decides against it, waits for his team to return. Sings it out wide up top there. Stutter step, plants the foot, makes a move around. That's Beth Key at the top. Sends it high to Casher, who sends it to Stump here on the near side. Stump. Back to Kyle McNeil. McNeil slowing the play back down. Cats, I imagine, looking to set up a play. McNeil makes a cut there, swings the pass. Continuing to move, and it goes out of bounds. So now the Indians with possession. Redman heads back to send it back in play. Tries to make a cut there, charges down the field. Slash comes in. Trying to find an opening are the Indians. This Cats defense, again, trying to hold strong. They were going to be the key to victory here tonight for Greater Lake Trobe. So with possession on the far side. Are the Indians? They slowed it down as well, trying to set up a play. Screen could come in. Now with it is Feigl. Feigl sends it back. Feigl 
10-14 left to go. Plants steps in, shot comes in, it's blocked by Mitch Horner. Horner sends the pass ahead, it's intercepted. Ben Curry had it and then lost it. Cats have to try to scoop the ground ball, but it's taken up by the Indians. Now roaring down the field is North Hills, trying to make a cut there. And thrown down to the ground are the Cats. Shot comes in, it's stolen by Ben Curry. Curry now sends it to Ton Williams on the far side. And Jaton holds up. Jaton Williams gives it to Ben Curry, or not Ben Curry, that's Kyle McNeil, who has two goals so far in the game. Kyle McNeil tries to plant his foot, make a move. Steps in, tries to find an opening, and he is contested the whole way through. Passes it off to Jaton Williams. Sent behind a Kasher. Kasher now to John Massaro. Massaro back to Jaton Williams, who gives it back to Kyle McNeil. 8.40 left to go in the third quarter play. Cutting in is Kyle McNeil on the far side. Passes behind a Kasher. Passes it in front, it gets away. Casher is there, scoop the ground ball, and he brings it back into play. Not quite sure who lost that pass over their head, but that was an opportunity at a goal there and break the tie here in the third quarter of play. Er trying to wrestle through, trying to find an opening is Casher. He has a hat trick that he's chasing. He has two goals so far on the evening. Now the top shot comes in. And it's scooped up there. Kyle McNeil tried to get his hat trick, but he could not get it. And now right there at the top of your screen is North Hills trying to fend off and rebound. But that all goes out of bounds. It goes off of a cat. So now it's Corade on the far side. Sends that ball up high. And trying to catch it is Rouse. And Cats will come away with it. It's Schmucker. And it's stolen away there by North Hills. Now to to Redmond. Redmond holds on to possession. Swing it now behind. It's with Feigl. Feigl inside. Feigl plants the foot, tries to find an opening. Shot comes in! And North Hills breaks the tie. Fiegel scores his first goal of the night there and breaks the tie here in the third quarter. With 6.55 left to go, Indians lead by one. And now to take the face off is Massaro for the Cats. Cats down by one. One there by Massaro. Massaro at the top of the screen. Sends a pass in. It's Jaton Williams at the top. He swings that pass out wide now with Casher. Casher to Stump here on the near side. Stump. And now it's with Ben Curry here on the near side. Curry could take a shot, and he does. It bounces off the turf. And that will stay with the Cats. That ball scooped up there on the far side. Swing it now. 
And that ball could go out of bounds. Can Kasher get there? He does not, and that ball will go to North Hills. Cochrane sends it into play. Makes its way out to midfield. Now the Indians, who have a one-point lead, have possession of the ball. Well, as we're about to hit the six-minute mark here in the third quarter, shot comes in! And that's another goal for the Indians. Who are now pouring it on. It's a two-point lead. They're going to give that goal to Luke Coldren, who now has a hat trick on the evening for the Indians. 6-0-1 left to go. Can the Cats get on their horse and make this a game again? They trail by two here. Oh, and a good cross check comes in there by Jaton Williams, and he's called on a penalty, and he is heated. Cats really couldn't afford to take a penalty there. Cats are called for the push to Ton Williams. We'll just get a 30-second penalty. Let's hope that the Cats don't give up a goal. Again, that penalty assessed onto Ton Williams. Back to take the ball for the Indians and bring it up into play is Duffy. Nathan Duffy has a goal already in this game, his 151st in his career. He loses the ball. Cats going to a bit of a turtle defensive mode here. Shot could come in by Nunez, who smartly throws it behind the goal, charging in. Good pass in front of the goal. A shot came in by Nunez. But a defensive play there by Cam Mikulski who plays out there like he's a freight train. He just throws his body around. Inside pass. Trying to find an opening. Cauldron has the ball. Makes a cut. And that ball goes down. And now possession will go to North Hills. I believe the Cats thought it was going to be their ball, but it is not. Shot comes in, it zips out wide. Indians to respond again. Coldren is the man you see there on the right side of your screen. He's bringing the ball in for the Indians. Behind the net, pass, out front, shot comes in, block, and there's a flag. Dirty laundry on the field. Multiple players hitting the ground. Let's see what they're going to assess the penalty. I believe they're going to call that on the Cats. So we're waiting to see what the call is. Two cats with a penalty there. One for slashing and one for an elbow to the helmet area. So with the Indians with a two-point lead here. Swing that ball around. Now behind the net. Inside. Good pass. Swing it across. Shot comes in. It's up high. And that's going to stay with North Hills. Coldren, the hat trick attacker, brings the ball in the play for North Hills. Shot comes in, and it's a block there off the helmet. 
I believe that was Eli Schmacher who took the shot right off the crown of his helmet. Good block there for the Cats. He really needed to do that. And that's a goal! Penalty goal for North Hills. Pat Savillas, I believe, is the Indian that's going to be credited with the goal. So with the score now 7-4, the Indians are starting to pull away and have a golden opportunity to snap the Cats' streak here. Face off there, one by North Hills. Cats trying to play defense. Good pass there. Slowing it down, waiting for the attackers to kind of make their way into the Cat territory. Holding on to his cauldron again, the lone Indian with the hat trick on the evening. Cats knew this was going to be a fight. A 3A school like North Hills, not to mention at their caliber, Again, coming in with a winning record, 4-3 and three overall, 2-1 and one in their section. This was going to be a fight from the onset, but the, I don't think the Cats understood what kind of fight they were getting themselves into. And would love to win here as they get ready to host Penn Trafford, another section rival, on Thursday. We will have that broadcast here on Thursday from Rossi Field. Trying to make movement in front of the net. Holding on to it is Nunez, who also has a goal on the game. Nunez makes a cut. Trying to get by the Cats defenders. Possible opening. Gets by his man. Good chop that comes in. And Cats wrestle down another Indian. That's a flag. So the advantage goes to North Hills. As they now have an opportunity to score a goal. Possession is lost. Scoot back up. Under two minutes left to go here in the quarter. Shot comes in. It's blocked and out of bounds. But the penalty will now be assessed. And again, that's going to go the way of the Cats. As you can see in the top right of your broadcast screen uh, is our sponsor. We call it the sponsorship carousel. Uh, that's the technical term for it. We thank all of our sponsors for sponsoring these broadcasts. It's because of them that we're able to bring these broadcasts to you completely free of charge to the viewers at home, as it should be. And so make sure that when you're in La Trobe that you thank all of our sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. It's because of them that we are able to bring these broadcasts to you. So again, thank you to all of our broadcast sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. It's because of them that we're able to do what we love to do. And now we are back at it. Indians are able to assess the penalty. Again, under two minutes left to go. With possession is Feigl. And he's confused. He thought the penalty was on the Cats. But they're going to be given possession of the ball. Trying to see who that is with the stick across his chest on the far side there. Who well, I imagine is going to send over to Mitch Horner. And there we go. We're off to it. Mitch Horner does have the ball. I imagine he's going to send it deep. He does not. Dumps it off to Kenimer. who gets by two Indians. What fancy footwork there. Has to get by a third. He does. He is ripping down that sideline. Good pass in front to catcher, but it's lost. And the ball gets away there on the far side of the field. Frustration starting to mount now for the Cats. Swing that ball now. Sending it deep. Scooped up there. Swings it deep again. Now in Cat territory. Trying to find an opening. On, 
Under a minute left to go in the quarter. Indians still hold on to possession here. And that's a penalty there. Held on to possession too long. Cats now get to respond. Mitch Horner with possession. Tries to swing it out to Kenimer. He loses it. Has to scoot the ground ball, and he does. Sends that ball down deep. Scooped up there by Ben Curry, who now charges down the far side. Curry now to his teammate there on the far side. Can't quite see who it is. Trying to hold on possession. Lose it behind the net for the Indians. Who still hold on to a three-point lead. He's trying to swing it wide. They shoot it deep there. Good pass across the middle of the field. Shot comes in just off the post. It misses. Oh, great chop comes in there and losing his stick, and that will do it for the quarter. With the third quarter in the books, Cats still trail, but now they trail by three. And we will head into the final quarter. Can the Cats do it here at Rossi Field to keep their winning streak alive? That'll do it for the quarter again. We're going to take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're going to have the final quarter of play here at Rossi Field. Hi, I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats. It's a beautiful day. Hi, I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance. It's located a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza. We're back here on the Wildcats Network. Thank you, Chris Beddick. One of our main sponsors here on the Wildcats Network, your local State Farm agent, the voice for our Greater Lake Trobe Ice Cats broadcasts. And he will also be on the microphone for us tomorrow night here on top of the hill, but not at Rossi Field, over at Graham Zavoda Field as the Wildcats baseball team will be taking on Albert Gallatin here. Again, that's at Graham Zavoda Field just off to our right, uh, where I believe a softball game is still going on right now. So thank you, Chris, for being a sponsor of the Wildcats Network, for lending us your voice on all of our multiple broadcasts with Chris. And a big thank you to all of our other sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. Again, on Tuesday, which is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, we will have the boys' varsity baseball game between Greater Lake Trobe and Albert Gallatin. And then on Thursday, we'll be back here at Rossi Field for the baseball game, or for the boys' lacrosse game between Greater Lake Trobe and Penn Trafford. And then, last but certainly not least, on Friday, we will have a broadcast between Gray Latrobe and Gateway. That's for softball. That's for senior night here on the Wildcats Network. So make sure you join us for that if you have some one of the graduating seniors on the girls' softball team on Friday. Cats now in the fourth quarter, down by three. And their winning streak is on the line here. Kyle McNeil won and came away with the ball. But it's lost. Ground ball in Penn Trafford territory. And the Indians scoop it up. If they are smart, they will try to drain as much of this clock as they possibly can. Now have the ball. Swinging it now in the cat territory. Possession being held well by Penn Trafford. Charging inside. It's with Coldren. Holdren gives it to his teammate behind the net. Chance, but it's lost there. Charting inside. Shot comes in, and it's away. Penn Trafford to have possession. (laughs) 
Swing it wide, catch up high. Shot comes in, blocked by Mitch Horner. Pass, now in front of the net, spin move. Now passing it around. Shot could come in, blocking in front, shot right off the turf, and it goes out of bounds. And that's going to stay with Penn Traff or with uh, North Hills. I have Penn Trafford on the mind already. Excited for that game on Thursday. A conference matchup or a section matchup between those two great teams. Now with the ball is PT. or Oh, my goodness. North Hills has the ball, I promise. Charging down, losing a stick. Shot comes in, and it goes past the goal and will roll out of bounds. North Hills will hold on to possession. Pass now behind the net, trying to find an opening. Good pass there. It's with Luke Cauldron again. Has a hat trick on the evening. Pass now. Shot could come in, but it's wide. And it will stay with North Hills. A shot by Aaron Nunez, who already has a goal so far tonight. Went wide. Now North Hills to respond. Swing around behind the net. And a flag is thrown there. Advantage to North Hills. Cats are really going to need to clean up their penalties. If they don't want to have a tough game on Thursday. Coming inside. Pass. Shot could come in. It doesn't. Trying to find an opening. And that ball will roll out of bounds. Possession will stay. With North Hills. Penalty on Cam Mikulski. I believe they're going to call a slash on him. Swinging the pass around. Now with Fiegel. Fiegel swings it. Shot could come. Now behind, oh, just in front of the net, and the ball goes wild. That will go with the way of the Cats. To take possession is Jaton Williams on the far side of the field. Williams runs in, full head of steam. Now that ball is lost. With the ball in... Indian Territory, Kasher with the ball. Still has possession. Running out of leg room is the speedster, plants his foot. Still trying to find an opening, 8.09 left to go. JT Kasher still, Cats trail by three. The clock is not their friend. He brings it in to John Massaro. Massaro to Kasher, who swings it behind the net. It's with Leo Joseph. Cats trying to find a breakaway. It's with Ben Curry. Ben Curry back to Leo Joseph. Kasher takes a shot. It's wide. And giving chase to it is Nick Stump, who gets possession of the ball. Now to Curry. Kyle McNeil. Basketball star and also now making his presence fell on the turf at Rossi Field. Shot comes in! Can't score a goal there. With 7-12 left to go in the game, it's now a two-point deficit for Greater Lake Trobe. 
Ben Curry credited with the goal there. His first one on the evening. Cats trying to make this one interesting. Again, they only trail by two. Kyle McNeil to take the face off for Gray Latrobe. He wins it. Swing it out wide. Good shot to come in. Casher with a hat trick. Cats now only trail by one. They came out with a punch right to the chops of the Indians. JT Kaker makes it a one point game for the Cats. 7.08 left to go. Can the Cats get their winning streak back? McNeil almost won again. Aggression needed here. Cats want to send it into overtime. Indians would rather go home with a W in their pocket. Pat Sevilla slows it down. Lines his teammate. That's Nunes right there at about the 35 yard line. Passes it to his teammate. Good pass there, gives it to Pat Savillas. Is it back to Redman on the far side, trying to bring the clock back down? Uh, is North Hills. They are trying to drain this clock of everything it's got left. Nunez with the ball. Trying to find an opening. Nunez. Again, Katz trying to take the ball away. Indians are not interested in that. Chop there, ball gets loose. Nunez still fighting hard, loses it. The Tom Williams giving chase. And he shoves a man down to Ton Williams with a free break. Oh, and the pass there by Williams gets lost. Scooping it back up there is Leo Joseph who takes a slash. Well, the Cats call a timeout to try to maintain possession. And with that, Cats will head into their timeout here very quickly. We're going to take a timeout as well here on the Wildcast Network. When we come back, we're going to have the continuation of this game here on the Wildcats Network. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelRoyalPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! The 2024 Best of Westmoreland survey is underway. Bardini's Country Smokehouse in Crabtree thanks you for naming us Best for Meats in 23. To vote now, go to bestofwestmoreland.com, then to shopping and place to buy meat and vote for Bardini's through April 24th. You can vote once a day. Gary Bardini is the only meat specialist in the region, honored as a Hall of Fame winner by the American Association of Meat Processors. Thank you for your vote. Well, I'm back on the Wildcast Network, and thank you, Gary Bardini, a longtime sponsor of our broadcasts, who is looking to win the Best in Westmoreland's Award for 2024 for his meats, and folks, I can't tell you, Nobody else deserves it more than Gary. I mean, I'm telling you, I have partaken in Bardini's meats, and there is no equal and there is no substitute for Gary and his incredible meats that he has out there in Crabtree. Make sure you go and visit Gary Bardini 
out in Crabtree and get something out of Bardini's Country Smokehouse. And make sure you vote for Bardini's Country Smokehouse for the Westmoreland Best, the Best of Westmoreland Award in 2024. Cats here with a one-point deficit, 5.20 left to go in the game. Kasher sends it out wide. Cats are still trailing by one. This to tie it. Cats need to keep the pressure on. They know how to kick it into the next gear when they need to. Kyle McNeil wants to get a hat trick of his own. JT already has one. McNeil, it's blocked away. Now with his Leo Joseph behind the net. Swinging around. Stutter step. Pass comes in. Shot! It's a goal! Cats tie it up! Huge there! We're all tied up at seven with 4.41 left to go. Leo Joseph credited with a goal there. So Cats now seven to seven. Kyle McNeil to take the face off. Cats want to kick it into the next gear here. And what a great way to do it. They can take, win the face off. McNeil coming down. Waiting for Cats to group up with him. Leo Joseph, who just scored the goal to tie the game, sends it out wide. Now is Stump, now with Curry. Now with Kyle McNeil. Cut comes in, Kyle McNeil, his shot is blocked. Great play there by Druga, who is in net for the Indians. Indians trying to slow it down. Still the Indians slow it down. Holding on to it there, losing it on the near side. They're going to say that's out of bounds. Cats now have a chance with the ball right now. Is Cam Akoski. Now with Kasher. Swings it to his teammate there on the far side. Deep pass makes its way to Kyle McNeil here by the 45. McNeil blanketed, cutting through. McNeil looking for a hat trick himself. But Cats don't want hat tricks, they want wins. Nick Stump. Sends it to Kyle McNeil. Swings it behind now with Leo Joseph. Now to Stump. Now with McNeil. Swing it back. Behind cut made by Joseph. Shot could coming. It's blocked. Trying to get the ball there, a trip comes in. And there is Santa Latrobe has the ball. I thought there was a trip, but none was called. And now Nick Stump with the ball behind the net. Stump now behind to Leo Joseph. Joseph swings it out wide. Cats want to win. Kyle McNeil now with two goals on the night. Let's try and make it three here. Good pass, Shaw comes in, block. But it's a scramble for it. And coming away with it is North Hills. Under two minutes left to go, still tied at seven. If nobody scores within the next two minutes, we're heading into overtime. A holding call there.
It'll go to North Hill. No, it's going to go the way of the Cats. But a timeout is called there by North Hills who want to score with a minute 49 left to go. We're going to take another break here on the Wildcast Network. We'll be right back after these short messages. I think we can agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Lake Trail Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latro Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen. Hello, I'm Maria Graziano Bickerstaff, President of the Greater Latrobe Partners in Education Foundation. The foundation ensures the highest level of education innovation supporting GLSD students, faculty, and staff. The foundation strives to provide educational opportunities for all students in grades K through 12. We believe students should have what they need to reach their full potential. Give, build, grow every student, every day. We're back here on the Wildcats Network, and folks, it doesn't get more exciting than this. Cats are tied with North Hills 7-7 seven to seven, with under two minutes left to go here in this matchup. Both teams want to go home with a win. Cats want to keep their streak alive, and Indians would want to go on a run here. And we're off and running. North Hills with possession. Far side of the field wanting to take their time. A goal with no time left is the pref is preferred. With the ball on the far side of the field, that's Pe Peslavalis. Still holding on to it. Trying to goad him into movement is Cam Mikulski, knowing that they don't want to let the clock roll down too much. Indians have already scored two goals with very little time left in the quarters. That pass comes in, swinging back out, shot could come, and it gets by Mitch Horner! Colden is able to score his fourth goal on the game. Again, four goals on the night for Coldren. The sophomore attacker, he's gonna be a big name here for the Indians for a very long time. Can the Cats respond with 43 seconds left? They've done it before. They scored in quick time, but not like that. They gave up the faceoff. Pass comes in. Cats thought that the Indians were going to sit back on their loins, but they don't. The Cats won't either. Oh, and a diving trip there. Very dangerous play. Kyle McNeil hit the deck there after he basically got tackled on the far side of the field. And trying to limp off the field there is Nathan Duffy. Who again, had the right idea, but it was a very dangerous play. Lucky it didn't 
result in anybody getting incredibly hurt. So now Kyle McNeil. So Cats with 25 seconds left. Can they do it? Down by one. It's brought out, scooped up there, back to McNeil. Shot could come in, it doesn't. Kasher, now back to Ben Curry, up in front, shot comes in, block! Cats lose it! Wrestling match in front of the net for it. And it'll come away! North Hills upsets the Cats here! And the Cats weren't able to respond with a goal of their own. And that will do it. The win streak is over. The Indians proved they were just too much for the Cats to be able to handle. We'll be back. We will have the next game for the Cats, which is on Thursday here on the Wildcats Network. Before tomorrow, starting pitch at 7 o'clock, it's Varsity Baseball. Chris Bedick and the crew will be back at Graham Sabota Field, which is right next door to Rossi Field. And again, that's on Tuesday. Tomorrow night, Thursday, is our game where the Cats will take on Penn Trafford here at Rossi Field. We will have that. And then on Friday, it's back over to Graham Sabota Field for senior night for the girls softball team here at Greater Latro. That will do it for our broadcast here tonight, folks. Tristan Borland, who again, ran solo here tonight. I hope I was uh, palatable for everybody at home. I'm very thankful everybody got a chance to watch this game. We'll be back in action tomorrow night, but that will do it for the Wildcats Network, which is brought to you tonight by LHTC Media. Hi, I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelRoyalPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Valley Dairy Restaurants. You never had it so good. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, legendary ice cream. In Latrobe, the Valley Dairy Restaurant on Colony Lane. Go Wildcats! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC Media Crew bringing you tonight's game. Or notice, but parent for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style of basketball. Ray Latrobe starts out the evening with a pin. From Palmer Airport in Latrobe, live streamed by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. I think we can agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Latro Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latro Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. 
Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen. I'm proud to work with an organization that known across the state that's reputable. Adelphi is a place to have ample opportunities for promotion. There's nothing uh, that Adelphi won't do for you personally and professionally. Come on in. Hello, I'm Maria Graziano Bickerstaff, President of the Greater Latrobe Partners in Education Foundation. The foundation ensures the highest level of education innovation supporting GLSD students, faculty, and staff. The foundation strives to provide educational opportunities for all students in grades K through 12. We believe students should have what they need to reach their full potential. Give, build, grow every student, every day. I am the swiftest creature alive. I can make it. I will make it. That's where we come in. A Collision Shop by Jason Mignon is your one-stop shop for all things auto body repair. Our experienced technicians and state-of-the-art facilities have you covered. Body repairs, refinishing, glass replacement, and more. Our friendly office staff is happy to assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair process. Visit the Collision Shop by Jason.com for our complete list of services. Welcome to Ligonier Valley Learning Center Incorporated, where little hands do big things. For 38 years, Latrobe Kinder School has provided a continuum of quality services which promotes the emotional, behavioral, educational, and physical development of children. We've used a research-based curriculum that will help your child grow academically and socially. Guidance from our expert teachers, combined with our state-of-the-art play areas, will build your child's brains and bodies. Latrobe Kinder School provides high-quality pre-K education for three- and four-year-old children at no cost to qualifying families through the pre-K counts. Our enrollment is always open. Visit our website, LigonierValleyLearningCenter.com, to apply today. I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Oil Pizza in the heart of downtown Latrobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Oil Pizza has proudly served the Latrobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelOilPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Valley Dairy Restaurants. You never had it so good. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, legendary ice cream. 
in Latrobe, the Valley Dairy Restaurant on Colony Lane. Go Wildcats! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC Media Crew bringing you tonight's game. Or notice preparing for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style of basketball. Grayalich Road starts out the evening with a pin. From Palmer Airport in Latrobe, live streamed by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. I think we can agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Latro Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latro Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen.